In this video, I'll explain the fundamental difference between HTTP and web sockets in the simplest of ways. Imagine you visit a website, for example, Amazon.com. When you enter the URL in your browser, it initiates an HTTP request. The request contains information about the resource the client wants to access. It can be a web page, an image, a video, or data from an API. The HTTP request goes to the server. Well, why HTTP? Because both the client and server understand a protocol or set of rules of communication, which is HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Now, when the request is sent, the address of the client is also sent to the server. The server now knows where to respond as it receives the address when the request is made. That is the reason we say that HTTP operates on a request response model. After processing the request, the server generates an HTTP response. Once the response is sent, the connection gets closed. That is, the server cannot communicate further with the client. Finally, the client, the web browser, receives the HTTP response. It interprets the response data, renders the web page, which may include images, scripts, and any other resources received from the server. So simply put, unless the client sends a request again, the server cannot communicate with the client. This is the reason why it is called that HTTP's communication is stateless, meaning it does not stay connected with the server, and also server cannot directly communicate with the client, that is, bi-directional communication is not possible in this case. Now assume that the client wants to stay connected and the server also should be capable of communicating with the client anytime like in a chat application. That is bi-directional communication, client to server and server to client. Then we choose the web sockets over HTTP. Web sockets is a bi-directional full duplex communication protocol built on top of transmission control protocol that is TCP allowing a persistent that is continuous connection between the client and the server. Once the connection is made they can exchange information back and forth instantly and without interruptions just like a real-time conversation. Web sockets are perfect for things like real-time chats, live notifications, online gaming, and other interactive web applications. Now, let's understand the use cases of HTTP and web sockets. You should use HTTP when you need to retrieve static resources like HTML, CSS, and images for web pages. You want to make simple API calls where real-time communication is not crucial or you are dealing with traditional web applications that don't require real-time updates and you use web sockets when you need real-time bi-directional communication between the client and the server. Your application involves live chat, notification, online gaming, collaborative editing, or any other real-time interactions. You also use when you want to reduce latency and save server resources by maintaining a persistent connection. Do remember that choice between HTTP and web sockets depends on the requirements of your application. If you need real-time, bi-directional communication, web sockets are the way to go. For other scenarios where simple request-response interactions are sufficient, HTTP will do the job. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.